Welcome back, Jigaboo people. We're back to Zimmons Wizarding World. Yes, it's been a little while. Uh, lots of things going on. Sort of personal life stuff. Nothing major. It's just that life is busy. So we're going to try to fit this in. Uh, actually, I wrote this half wrote this a while ago. And uh, I half finished it, well, a couple of days ago. But anyway, uh, I'm going to read this. And to be honest, uh, I'm going to have to remember some of it as I read it. Because <laughs> I wrote it off a little while ago. So I can't remember what happened. So. Along with the ride with you, uh, for the moment, um, we've got a fun little choice at the end uh, for our next instalment. Um, so that will be fun. Uh, also, Hogwarts Legacy stuff. Uh, I'm rocking some Wizards United stuff. Um, but Hogwarts Legacy news stuff. Uh, the uh, summer expansion uh, is coming out. Uh, basically, it's a quality of life update, really. Nothing major significant. Uh, the other thing is uh, Haunted Hogsmeade for uh, PC players or anyone that's not on PlayStation, um, which we knew that was coming out way back when the game came out last year. So I would thought we've had it out by now already because it's been over a year. But anyway, that's out uh, and photo mode and then some cosmetic stuff. Um, now, an interesting thing happened uh, uh, during, the live, during the live stream or recording or something like that. Uh, Finch, the community manager, had to have a chat with somebody in the background because they were talking a bit loudly about something that they shouldn't have been, like public knowledge stuff. So they are up to something, that is for sure. Now, whether it is DLC, or whether it is Hogwarts Legacy 2, I don't know. Um, but one of those one of those two has got to be coming out because, well, they still have their studio and they're not all on the you're not all working for somebody else, so you know, we've got to be uh, working on it. And obviously, given the success, a bit of a no brainer. Bit of a change in setup rather than having to get my DSLR out and separate sound recording and stuff like that. Um, I'm doing it all through OBS using my Razer camera and uh, the streaming camera I got well, a while ago, but yeah, anyway, try to do it all in one rather than having to record it and put it all together because that takes a lot longer. So, I did start to record. Uh, playthroughs of side quests. I didn't do any side quests during the actual game when I did the main playthroughs, which was quite funny because technically I can't graduate because I'm not high enough level. <laughs> so uh, you do have to do at least some of the side quests to be able to actually finish the games and like, graduate at the end. I, I did the my scenario quest, MSQ's all done, uh, but yeah, I need to level up. Uh, so I was doing stuff in the background like. Um, completing my field guide pages and stuff like that but now i've just got left to do is the side quests so i might try and i recorded one of them eventually the gobstones girl the one that's been bugging me the entire time that we were recording uh every time i walk past her in the corridor find down her quest uh, which i recorded uh, with a bit of luck see i really want to do i really want to get like alternate weeks like one week is the story the other week is playing through the side quests. Oh, story, side quest, story, side quest. Now, with the patch coming out, uh, it'd be nice to do the side quests like that, and then I can actually take some screenshots using that new screenshot feature. Um, because, yeah. I'm kind of glad I haven't done the side quests, put it that way, because that means I can actually go back to the game and use these new features they put out, because they put out all these new features and no more content, so... A lot of people have finished the game... <laughs> they're like oh thanks for the features that why would I use them because I completed the game kind of thing but anyway that's not my idea decision whatever let's move on with the story because I'm jabbering right now so hopefully my laptop doesn't explode and we can continue this so at the end of our last episode we were at uh, we are in the Hogwarts Express in our compartment with uh, Lavender Brown and company um, actually just down like the next compartment along from Harry and Ron so you did very well picking that carriage um, basically, if you follow the story in the books and the movies, Neville has arrived in the compartment. He's looking for his toad. Bloody hell. Trevor, there we go. Uh, my brain no working. Uh, <laughs> and then the bit where he goes away, he then comes back with Hermione, because Hermione's helping him out. So obviously Hermione's further down the train. He's actually in the next compartment behind us. Or next carriage behind us. So your two choices were, should you go with Neville and the bushy-haired girl? Which obviously is Hermione. Uh, we overwhelmingly chose yes, we are. 
<laughs> and then as a bonus one for adding flavor to our character as we build our character up, uh, the favorite from the trolley, uh, Bertie Bots, Cauldron Cates, Chocolate Frogs, Drupal's Best Blowing Gum, Jelly Slugs, Liquish Runs, and Pumpkin Pasties, we chose Chocolate Frogs. Also, in our last episode, we had our nod to Expecto go uh, with the uh, Chocolate Frog cards with Hengis of Woodcroft. You always have to say it in an accent because that's the way it happens. Uh, so that's an Expecto go kind of inside joke thing. All right, so now we can continue the story. <laughs> Ah, oh, life, I not recording in the world, you can't remember how to do it all. A few minutes later, the compartment door slides open again. The round-faced boy was back, but this time he had a girl with him. She had a very bushy brown hair. A sad one seen a toad. Neville's lost one, she said. She sounded rather bossy. You turn back to her and say you haven't, but a thought crosses your mind. Should you go with them to help find the toad? You decide that you should go and help find the toad. I really should have wrote that differently, but anyway, I'll fix that later. No, we haven't seen a toad, but I can come and help find him, you say. The toadless boy looks at you and is about to say something when a bushy herd girl says, Oh, thanks, this is Neville. I am Hermione, and you are. You give your name and say, I see you have your robes on already. Yes, I am really excited to go. I read all our set books off by heart. I just hope it will be enough. As you move to the next compartment, you get a little bit worried that maybe you should have read more than just Fantastic Beasts. Has anyone seen a toad? Neville's lost one, Hermione says through the compartment door. You look in through the door and it's young ginger haired boy and the spectacle boy you saw in Diagon Alley. I need to brute feed these. We already told him we haven't seen it, said the ginger haired boy. Hermione introduces you all and before they can respond with their name, she spots the ginger haired boy's wand. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see then, she says. There's a rat on his lap. And he has his wand out. Wee. Hermione takes a seat while Neville and you stand in the corridor, looking through the open door. Uh, all right. He clears his throat. Sunshine daisies, butter mellow, turn this stupid fat rat yellow. He waves his wand, but nothing happened. You know, because you got the right blinking carriage, I have to use text directly out of canon, so hopefully I don't get a strike out this or something. <laughs> Are you sure that spell is real? said the girl. But it's not very good, is it? I tried a few simple spells just for practice, and it's all worked out for me. Nobody in my family's magic at all. It was ever such a surprise when I got my letter, but I was so but I was ever so pleased. Of course, I mean it's the very best school of witchcraft there is. I've heard I've learned all the set books off by heart. Of course, I hope it'll be enough. I'm Hermione Granger, by the way. Who are you? Everyone is somewhat stunned at the speed she can talk. I'm Ron Weasley, Ron muttered. Harry Potter, said Harry. Are you really? said Hermione. I know all about you, of course. I've got a few extra books of background reading, and you're in modern magical history, the rise and fall of dark arts, and great wizarding events of the 20th century. I am? said Harry, feeling dazed. Goodness, did you know I have found everything I could? Oh, balls. Hard talking fast like Hermione. <laughs> Goodness, did you know I'd have found everything I could if it was me, said Hermione. Do either of you know which house you'll be in? I've been asked. I've been asking around, and I hope I'm in Gryffindor. He sounds by far the best. I heard Dumbledore himself was one, but I suppose Ravenclaw wouldn't be too bad. Anyway, we better go and look for Neville's toad. You two better change, you know. I expect we'll be there soon. She then stands up and exits past you, grabbing Neville on the way. You stand there in silence for a bit, producing a feeble wave and following them. Why is this Harry Potter so special? As you work your way up the train, you meet a few new students along the way. In carriage F, you meet Susan Bones, whose mum works in the Ministry of Magic as the head of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. You realise you have a lot to learn. Another girl by the name of Millicent Bolstrode was in carriage E. She looked like a nasty piece of work. She was big and brutish too. No, I haven't seen your stupid toad. Who would want one anyway? She said to Neville, and he looked pretty upset. Just then, Draco, with two burly boys, push past you and head into the compartment. You, Neville and Hermione were eager to move on anyway after that experience with Millicent. In carriage D, I haven't guessed, we're going through the spreadsheet <laughs> of carriages and who's in them. In carriage D, you stopped for a while to see Lee Jordan's giant tarantula. Well, hey. Lee's a lot of fun and full of energy. Unfortunately, so is the spider. Fred and George say hello to you again. You head into carriage C, where Neville started from. In this compartment, in his compartment, you meet Jean. Uh, Jean. 
in his in his apartment, he meet Dean Thomas, Seamus Finnegan, Justin Finch Fletchley, and Isabel McDougall. Hermione says she's going to speak with the driver and leaves. So you're not finding it, Todd Neville, says Seamus in an Irish accent. No, I we. No, I can't find Trevor anywhere, Neville says dejected. After a couple of minutes, Hermione comes in and turns to you. Come on, we're nearly at Hogwarts and you haven't got your robes on. We need to head back down to our carriage and our stuff. Moving down the train was getting difficult at this point as students were getting excited and running up and down the corridors. Just as you enter carriage G, you both hear a horrible yell. Jaco and the two burly boys burst out of Harry and Ron's compartment. One of the burly boys was holding a bloody finger. What's been going on, said Hermione, licking all the sweets all over the floor, and Ron was picking up Scabbers by his tail. Harry tells you how he met Draco before in Diagon Alley. You explain how you briefly met him and his father there too. We must have been there on the same day, you say. His father seems a very nasty man. They seem to think they are better than everyone else. I've heard of his family, said Ron darkly. They were some of the first to come back to our side after you know who disappeared. Said they'd been bewitched. My dad doesn't believe it. He says mouth for his father didn't need an excuse to go over to the dark side. He turned to Hermione. Can we help you with something? You better hurry up and put your robes on. I've just been up to the front to ask the driver and he says we're nearly there. You haven't been fighting, have you? You'll be in trouble even before we get there. Scabbers has been fighting, not us, said Ron, scowling at her. Would you mind leaving while we change? All right, I only came in here because people outside are behaving very childishly, racing up and down the corridors, said Hermione in a sniffy voice. And you've got dirt on your nose, by the way, didn't you know? Ron glared at her as she left, <laughs> dragging you with her. You say goodbye to Hermione as you go back into the compartment with Lavender and the others. That's all your stuff is there. Just as you put on your long black robes, a voice echoes through the train. Well, I'll be reaching Hogwarts in five minutes time. Please leave your luggage on the train. It will be taken to the school separately. You watch out of the compartment window as people start to gather in the corridor. You think it's best to stay seated until the train stops rather than just being rammed together. As the train slows down, you look out the window. It's pitch black until a small platform slides into view. It is lit by old style gas lanterns and a limited and a limited light doesn't go far. You leave the train and place your first steps on the platform, feeling much like the first person on the moon in a strange new world. The fresh ice cold air against your face suddenly wakes you up from a long day of travelling. The lamp comes bubbing over the heads of the students, and you spot Hagrid from Diagon Alley. First years, first years over here. Hagrid's big hairy face beams over the sea of heads. Come on, follow me. Any more first years? Mind your step now. First years, follow me. Somehow, his smile has a way of comforting you at this nerve-wracking time. <coughs> hey there. Everyone is having trouble in the dark following this bobbing lamp down a steep, narrow path. All you can hear is the sound of shoes walking and slipping on whatever surface you're walking on. Everyone is quiet, wondering where you're all going. You'll get your first sight of Hogwarts in a sec, Hagrid called over his shoulder. Just round the bend here. Suddenly, from nothing, came a very spectacular something. The crowd of students gave a collective a gasp as the path opened up to a spectacular black lake. As your eyes start to piece it all together, you spot a high mountain silhouetted against the last embers of twilight. On top of that mountain is a vast castle with many towers and turrets its many windows sparkling in the distance. No more than four to a boat, Hagrid called, pointing to a fleet of little boats sitting in the water by the shore. You look back and forth between the castle in the distance and the little boats. No one said anything, but you shout, Do we have to row all the way? Just you wait, said Hagrid. You'll love this. Harry, Ron and Neville and Hermione head to a boat, and others start to group up. Who do you want to buddy with. So who do you want to be your boat buddy? So you pick one, I'll fill in the rest. These are people we've met along our journey so far. So Lavender Brown, Anthony Goldstein, Susan Bones, Lee Jordan, Dean Thomas, Seamus Finnegan, or, as a last option, the Golden Trio pushing out Neville. So you can, you can push Neville out the way and jump on the boat with the Golden Trio. We'll bend cannon for this one uh, for a giggle. 
So those are your choices. Votes are open now for two weeks. No, nope. votes are open now for one week, but it might get a bit longer depending on how people actually watch this video and vote. So uh, if you share it, the quicker the next one comes along, I guess. Uh, although I can technically write a bit further ahead. Anyway, one week, maybe two, depending on how well the voting goes. And then I'll see if I can get the video edited for next week for the playthrough stuff. Deal. Sounds good. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you think it's going. Any tips as well? And anything, any ideas you can drop as well? May or may not do them. But uh, always nice to hear things and things you liked and stuff like that. So we can kind of like uh, tweak the story as we go. Um, because this is the first time me writing anything ever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, constructive feedback is appreciated. Um, I definitely get my past and present tense problem. The problem is the books are written in past tense and I'm writing in present tense. I have to kind of convert things. But anyway, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one.